Hello and welcome. I'm Mark Berenger, winemaker with Artessa Winery and Vineyards, and I'm here today with Wendy Savino, who's going to be telling us a little bit about some food dishes that she prepares for us here at the winery. Um, she does some wonderful stuff to pair with our wines. So Wendy, would you like to tell us about what we're doing today? Sure, great. Uh, my name is Wendy Savino, as you know, and um, I'm the resident chef. Um, and I am so lucky to have such wonderful wines to work with. Um, today we are using the um, Artessa Estate 2009 Pinot Noir, and we're pairing that with uh, Salmon Kubliak and Croat. Um, salmon and um, Pinot Noir, it's just a match made in heaven. Um, this is uh, a dish that is, it's wild salmon, uh, there's Persian rice, um, uh, spinach, mushrooms, red peppers, uh, all wrapped in puff pastry, cooked to a golden brown, and uh, slathered with uh, hollandaise sauce with bay shrimp. It's excellent. <laughs> we, we do have the uh, recipe uh, that will be posted for you. Okay, now what we're going to start with is... Um, Puff pastry. This is a Pepperidge Farm. It's the most accessible. It's easy to find. Um, I've cut it into smaller sheets, rolled it out, um, and the first thing that we put on here is the Persian rice. Now, Persian rice is uh, a combination of, um, you can use either basmati or um, jasmine. Um, this is jasmine, and I spice it with zug, which is um, a it's a Middle Eastern spice, and it's got cloves and cardamom and curry and um, um, a little cinnamon and cilantro. It's just wonderful. Um, chilies and garlic as well. Um, it's, this has got a little curry in it. Um, it's got some, um, oh gosh, some um, beautiful roasted pecans and uh, raisins, cran raisins, and uh, dried apricots just to give it that really wonderful spice. Um, it's, it makes a really good bed for the salmon. And this is really a meal all in one. Um, I would certainly uh, serve this with maybe just a side vegetable, and this is all you need. Okay, and then you take your salmon. Now, if the salmon has a thin piece, just go ahead and tuck it under, because you want this to cook consistently. This one, on the other hand, this is wild Pacific salmon. Um, this one, on the other hand, is a little thicker all the way through, so we don't have to do this. To keep it moist, and this gives added texture as well, but the spinach really keeps the moistness in the salmon. And it's just so yummy. Spinach is another earthy vegetable that just goes beautifully with pinot. Actually, everything that I'm putting in here is a really nice pairing. Um, I've pre-roasted the red peppers. You lay a few red peppers on there. This gives a little sweetness um, and the smokiness from the roasting of the peppers also just picks up the uh, just the beautiful berry in this wine. The next thing that we put on the top are mushrooms. Mushrooms again, earthy, um, pinot friendly. They're just wonderful and it gives that really nice texture and uh, gives a lot of interest to this meal. Okay, uh, now that we've got this put together, um, before we wrap it up, Mark, why don't you um, tell us about the wine and how you feel that it pairs with this. Sure, and uh, of course we have to have some wine while we, uh, while we discuss it. Part. This My is the best part, part of the, the whole thing here. Um, one of the things I really love about this dish is it has so many different elements to it that really match with Pinot Noir. A lot of people think that fish, seafood dishes, white wine. It's not true, especially in the case of salmon. Salmon's a gamey fish. It's kind of the lamb of the fish world, in my opinion. And it really pairs well with a lot of the, the different earthy elements that are in the Pinot Noir. But also in this dish, you have the sweetness of the roasted pepper, as well as the fruit components that are in here, the dried berries, really bring out the red fruit in the wine, and I think it just really highlights all the different elements and layers that show up in our Reserve Pinot Noir. So this has been one of my favorite food and wine pairings here at the winery, and I think if you do have the opportunity to put this together at home, you'd really enjoy it. Okay, so now we're just going to seal this up. Um, um, do it any way you want. I'm, I'm not one of those fancy schmancy people. Um, I just wrap it. 
I just get it to where it's sealed up because it's going to look really pretty when we cut it in half. You're going to be able to see all those layers and that's the pretty part. This doesn't have to be too pretty, just as long as it's sealed. And then we'll egg wash it. Okay, here we go. Just give it a nice egg wash. This is also going to um, promote a nice shiny crisp crust and that's what we want. You could also um, experiment with some things um, with some different fish if you want to have our Tessa Chardonnay. The Estate Chardonnay is absolutely beautiful. All of our Chardonnays are actually, but um, uh, you could make the same thing and instead of doing a Persian rice, you could do uh, a rice pilaf with, um, with toasted almonds, because the almonds go beautifully with the, uh, with the Chardonnay. Um, and you could use halibut, you know? Um, this gets put on a sheet pan. Make sure that you put parchment down, because if you don't, it will stick, I guarantee you. And then it's going to be a big mess. Okay. So then this goes on the parchment paper. It goes in a 325 oven, 325 degrees. If you've got a convection oven, that's even better because it's going to help the process and help it brown a little bit faster. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. It, it might take an extra five minutes. So um, it's going to be anywhere from uh, 20 minutes to maybe 35 minutes, depending upon your oven. Um, your nose will tell you. And uh, look at look at the color on it. Now that we've taken these out of the oven, um, and they're really hot, they're just wonderful. But you can see what a nice crisp brown it gets. It's just beautiful. And this is the best part. You cut into it, and you see the interior. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the layers in this now. You can see the steam coming from it. It's really hot. Um, but the layers are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this is one of the best parts because now we get to eat. One of the things I really love about this dish is how it's so layered. You can even see it right here presented to you where you have the layers of the peppers and the mushrooms and the spinach as well as the fish at the bottom with the fruit and the rice. It just it reminds me of the Pinot Noir. Our State Reserve Pinot Noir has those many layers as well. It has layers of fruit, the raspberry, the strawberry, as well as cherry. And then underneath it has more of the, the French oak and the toast and the, uh, the different layering there. And then we even have a little bit of the forest floor and more complex components of, of a very complex Pinot Noir. And all those layers that are represented in the wine are represented here in this dish. And it just makes such a fantastic pairing together. Oh, that's a great analogy. It really is. Now we're going to finish this up with um, hollandaise sauce. You can do Bernays, you can do hollandaise, whatever you'd like. I like to spice it up a little bit with um, um, some fruits of the sea. Today I've used uh, bay shrimp, but you can use crab, you can use scallops, bay scallops. You can use, gosh, rock shrimp, pretty much anything that you'd like. But this is kind of the crowning glory. It's just so buttery and yummy and beautiful. Here we go. You have your side. I have my side. Okay, let me grab my wine here. Chin. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you, Mark. I really, I love working with you. I love working at our time. Absolutely love working with you, too. This is fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Let's see how we're going here. Of course, leave it to me to slop all over. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you again, Wendy. We really appreciate you spending your time with us and sharing with all of our people this wonderful dish and this wonderful wine pairing that we have. And we want to thank all of you for visiting our social media sites and being such good participants with us. We hope you come back soon, and we'll show you what's on our menu next time. Thanks again. Cheers. Try this. You'll love it.